Like two men. Anything exciting happen? I had a kid. Who's we? Huh? Who's we? I had a kid with somebody. <laughs> Who's so Who's somebody? Friends for like four and a half years, and then he, I, just, I was over his shit and treating me as he should, so I broke up with him. And you had a baby by this man? Yeah, I had a baby. When did he start treating you like shit? Uh, year one or year four? Year two. But yeah. I was blind, but I didn't know, like, what connected in my head was why am I going to be with somebody I want to want my daughter to be with? So. Did you feel like he played any role in the breakup? He did not. Oh, no, you. I'm talking about you. Oh, he played me for sure. No, no. Did you play a role? Like, is there anything you could have improved? I did everything. I cooked for that man every day. I cleaned. I I worked for a year straight while he stayed home. And then I would get off of working a 10-hour shift, come home and clean a house while he just played video games all day and got high, cook dinner, clean again, and then get ready for work the next day. Hmm. I've bought in him three cards. He's never bought in me one. Like I've done a lot for him. He buys me a phone, and then I'm being told I'm ungrateful about it. Even though two days before he bought me a phone, I bought him a Mustang for his 21st birthday. That was $2,500. And I let him get it put in his name instead of mine. And why'd you do all that? Because I loved him, and I thought he loved me. Even though in year two you were already being treated poorly? I was blind to it because I was always treated like shit. Like, I went from being treated like shit by my father, shown attention by a man, and got in a relationship with him kind of situation. I can't figure this shit out. So, was he involved? Ah! Guys, we, we got what we needed out of that, though. <laughs>